Ooh, that's a neat return scene. I like the little planets. Hello, anyone. It's just guys in here, and welcome back to more Children of Morta. Last time, we explored the dungeon proper and died to some giant spiders. Specifically, one big giant roaring spider butt. It was a short fight. Today, we try for some revenge. Let's go. Also, cursor should be showing today, so now if I point to something, you'll actually know what it is. And yeah, this place... If I had to guess, I'd say it was segmented into maybe four different areas. So this is gonna be fun. Continue on with John. I don't know, I know what I'm doing is him. Yeah, his daughter, Linda was it? She's got advantages, I tried to touch on that last time. She's a ranger, so you know, she's squishy up close. But she gets some pretty nice moves, or at least she used to. Like spread shot, rapid fire, things like that. Pretty sweet. Ow. <laughs> Just got here and I'm already taking damage, fantastic. That's the mortar that I used to know. See, what do we got? What do we got? It's all randomly generated. Could be completely different stuff today. Oh boy, money though. Hey, hey. Quit that. Quit spitting stuff at me. Look, if you're not gonna attack me, then don't spit stuff at me. Slowing me down when there's nothing around does nothing. Yeah, see, that guy gets it. He comes up, he tries to bite me. He doesn't succeed, but, you know, he tries. Be gone, bat. I know how to flail. Alright, so, main thing we want to do today is... Survive. And thrive. Get through to the end. Try to get some sort of... Relics to maybe save us. And see if we can't beat that spider. Oh, hey, health. Thanks. Uh-oh. 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 That's bad. Ow. These guys can hurt. Ow, yeah, they're the magician guys. We don't like magic in this game, it hurts. He attacked me like three times, I'm down to 40 health of 120, that sucks. Somebody wanna drop a health thing? I kinda regret picking up the one from earlier. All right then, so where are we going? Oh, hey guys, how you doing? Anybody wanna drop a potion for me? That would be awesome. No, nobody, ow, darn. Bats. Yeah, I'm going to die early on. Never mind, I gotta level up. I'm flailing way too much. Just, that's kind of my way in the game for whatever reason. I just go around flailing. No real sense of strategy, just, just flail. Aw, oh, I need a gemstone. Anybody got a gemstone that I can use? Ooh, what are you? Nothing. Alright. <laughs> Maybe it was the money or something, I don't know. Darn bats. Okay, that's... There's shield. I really feel like shield should be the left... Or the right click, rather. And have shift be the special thing. I wonder if I can rekey that. The halls of Anea Dyer, so mesmerizing in their magnificence, were to be found at the end of a long road. And a hero never knows what is waiting them at the end of a road. Moving is more important than reaching. That's pretty neat. Yeah, you get random things like this sometimes. Like used to, there was a little scene where you could come across a little baby wolf. Maybe a few other things. See, even in the caves. Like, I just went through the door. Here I am. Little event thing. That's cool. I like this. What I don't like, however, is the fact that I'm nearly dead and we just got here. That part is less cool. I gotta start remembering to use my special abilities a bit more often, though. That is for certain. Eek! Get it off me. Get it off me. Yeah, I'm... I'm teetering on the edge and I don't like it. I have been since I got here. Oh, and there was a potion. Yes? Kevin's need to help all began when his elder brother Mark left the house. His brother was strong, making any near him feel safe. But he 
left Kevin. Bummer. Though Uncle Ben knew what his nephew needed, a focal point for his aspirations. Okay. Family bonding. Cool. You gonna train him up good? Teach him to be a Spider-Man? Meanwhile... The front art of the house is so cool looking. Oh, what's this? Uncle Ben pondered over a map he received from a refugee. The silk caverns were a twisted maze of dead ends and venomous nests. Mm -hmm. But somewhere along the right path, Anea Dyer, spirit of the Caldipo Caves, rested. Okay. Yeah, there are no, t no two paths like each other. Interesting. Sort of hinting at the whole roguelike map thing where everything is different every time you go through it. It's an interesting approach to things. So, what do we got? I managed to level up at some point. Do I have enough for anything? Uh, armor up. Warfare. Base attack. Damage. Uh, swiftness. Uh, armor would be nice for me, I feel like. But I like dishing out the damage, you know? Yes. Can I afford some more? Yes! I don't think I can afford more. Ow, not enough money for that. Alrighty then, well... I can hit harder now, so let's get back to it. Then back into it again. I managed to get a level up going on, so that was kind of nice. Hopefully being able to hit harder. Oh my. That's a lot of bats. Hopefully being able to hit harder will work well for me. So far I'm still taking a beating though. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> Blocking only does so much. Good to know. <laughs> yeah, I was watching my health very rapidly drop. Hi guys, how you doing? Dead? Awesome, awesome. So yeah, I'm noticing quite a few enemies today compared to last time. The last time I went through here, it was just a handful of enemies here and there. A few of them kind of willed down my health, but otherwise... It was a nice little jaunt through the caves. Uh, today, we've got the undead hordes, bats everywhere. It's a bit of a rough time. Hey, I reached the end. Well, this was a pretty straightforward area. Just a straight line to the right. Cool. Uh, where do you? Jen's potion. Heal a portion of your missing health. So it's literally just a free potion. All right. Cool. And now that I've found that, I get to date it. Entry. Oh my. Oh right, this was a doorway, not one of the little magic barriers. Uh, part of me wants to go back and see if there's any nice things. But part of me really wants to make forward progress. And forward progress it is. Alright, where are we going today? A lot of dead looking things here. A little bit concerning. Uh, to have some gemstones. Hey, family, somebody want to go out to the mines and give me some gemstones or something? Oh, this is going to be painful. Oh, this is painful. But I survived. Ooh, is that a soul? A gemstone? Something nice for me? You want to hold still so I can kill you? Thank you. What are you? Is that a gemstone? It was! Just money. Boo. I wanted nice things, not just money. I mean, money's great and all. It lets me buy upgrades for myself. But I kind of need something for the now. That is a combat room, I'm pretty sure. Wait, no. Those have like a monster face on them, don't they? Oh ho! Magical donut. Ring of cloaking. Become temporarily invisible. Ooh, I would have to switch out. Um... Tempting. Incredibly tempting. And you know what? Down a little bit of Oh. That actually regenerates over time. Ooh, temporary invincibility or a little bit of healing. Can I alternate them? You can take that. I can get the codex. Then I can take that back. Okay. I like invisibility. 
But I also like not dying. So I'm gonna go with the health option. Oh my, we got another big guy over there. Come on, fellas. Ha ha! <laughs> Using the environment to my advantage. Hi. Die. So yeah, we got a magic guy over there, super strong. We want to avoid him. There you go. Have a big uh, magic sword in your butt. Alright, so let's try to ease our way around and try not to die. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Everything is here wanting me dead. I'm going too slow. I'm going too slow. I can't move. I need to die. Alright, I'm dead. Death number two. Oh, hey. What you doing? A set of daggers made just for him. They would be his guide to finding himself, his focal point. The boy tested them. They felt good, not too heavy, not too light, like an extension of himself. Just right. Uncle Ben suggested a few practice swings outside. The dagger sliced the air, guided with an easy grace. His nephew was clearly a natural with the blades and would be ready to join his father and sister in no time. But the boy's mother had words on that subject. Two of her children were already risking their lives, and she would not have her precious little boy out there as well. Wait, two? We got Linda, but who else? Regretfully, he took the daggers away. Who was he to argue with a mother when it involved her child? Handing over the daggers was like abandoning a part of himself. He was meant for them, meant to be out there fighting for what was right. He just needed to convince them. Sounds like it's time for him to sneak out Disney style, do something, cause trouble and prove himself a mighty hero. Oh, what's up here? Lucy could spend hours with paper and pencil, giving life to objects she witnessed in the clouds, drowning herself in her own world, a place empty of life's trials and tribulations, and away from Grandma Margaret, who was always insisting that she continue to practice her other specialty. Fire! Sounds pretty neat. Getting little cutscenes. Getting a little bit of build up to uh, getting Kevin, wherever he is. He seems to have disappeared. So that's pretty cool. Onward and inward. So I apologize if today's episode is a little bit on the choppy side. Kinda happens when you keep dying repeatedly. But on the bright side, at least we're getting some neat little cutscenes. Story stuff, that's all very new. Hi guys, how you doing? I do not like those little bats. I never liked the bats. With their little bit of agility going on, able to bob and weave. Just out of range. Meanwhile, the spiders are like, let me just stand here right next to you and die. I like them. They're great in numbers, but they're easy to kill. Of course, you know, it would also help if I would start blocking a bit more often. But it's hard to get the timing down for that. Ooh, give me that. Ooh, give me that too. I mean, every little bit helps. Oh, hey, I've got a gem. So let's go use a gem. And get some loot. Ow. I did not like those little bats. What do we get? Money. Ooh. Okay, that's a fair amount. I'll take that. It would be so great if they could be pulled in by the gravity wells as well. Where's my exit? I would like an exit, please. Ah! Preferably not a death exit, because, you know, I'd like forward progress. I've been having trouble with that today. Alright, what do we got? Got three ways. Well, I saw a door over here. Maybe at least to the exit? Wishful thinking, I know, but, you know. I could be right. Haha! <laughs> Ooh, wait, hang on. Nice things ahead. What are you? Poisons damaged enemies. Hmm, I like it. So is that a passive thing? Hope so. Alright, back to floor two for, like, how many times today? 
Because I managed to cut out several things. Yo, oh, no, we got one of those guys. Oh, that's great. That's something to look forward to. Hey, catch! <laughs> hey, if I can... If I can cheaply kill somebody... Oh my gosh, the poison actually worked. That's great. I like that. I'll just take that. See you guys. So what do we got going on? Ooh, is that a people? That's a people. Let me get the money. I'm a hero and all that. Protagonist. I'm obligated to smash pots. What strange thing could have dragged grandmother this far? Good question. A well of rare will flow in those still obelisks to aid the guardians. This was the only thing Margaret silently whispered. Cool. Oh, is this us unlocking these things now? Nifty. Obelisk of swiftness. Move at a greater speed for a limited duration. Ah, right. These are little perks. Little temporary boosts. Grandmama, can we speak? No. All right, then. Well, activate. Oh, hey, it actually went away. Cool. Yeah, I am noticeably faster. Hi, guys. Oh, God, it's you. It's you. It's you. Die, 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 die. <laughs> Not me, you. Oh, that's health. That's health. Give me health. Okay. That's dealt with. Rage meter. Apparently, you can get a perk that lets you use the rage meter. Like, unleash it in a violent flurry or temporary defense boost or something like that. I didn't really look too far into it. Oh, hi. Oh, <laughs> level up. Does the level up still cause a lot of damage to nearby enemies? It used to. I wasn't really paying attention. What with all my flailing? What are you? Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you? Everybody clear out. Come on. Give me some space here. No. Stop that. I got a thing here. What is this? Essence of finesse. Oh, I mean, sword and board. I'm not really all about finesse, but increases movement speed. Yeah, okay. I have no clue what that was. That's a new thing. Open. Ooh, new relic. What are you? New things all around. Cutscenes. New areas. New relics. Totem of Defiance. Create a totem that knocks enemies back. Ooh, sounds nice. I got a whole collection of things going on. Holy cow. What are you? Significantly increases luck. Ooh, I do enjoy luck. Yeah, sure. I got luck. What does that do for me? Luck in video games is typically one of the more subtle things. It affects a little bit of everything that you do. But it's never really as noticeable as other things. Like I said, it's subtle. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Oh, no, 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 no. You get back here, lady. You need to die for me. You know, like, luck. Increases drop rates. Find rates. Critical strikes. And, uh, sometimes damage evasion. And sometimes it can work against you and be like, Oh my god, here's an enemy. You're going to die now. Oh god, no. This is, uh... Okay. This is pain. This is pain. This is pain. This is pain. Totem, knock them back. <laughs> Totem, you failed me. Do some damage to him, please. Okay, I think I'm good enough. I got just the one. I got some tactics going on. Not many. I can fight defensively. I'm just not good at, like, tying my actual shield. Okay, so that's one of the two guys. Yeah, we had two of them. There's the other one. If I can clear some of these numbers, please. Thanks for the potion. Ah, you gotta love that about luck. I'm assuming luck has hand in that. Ow. Jerk. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh. The pain. The pain. The pain. Yee. Oh, the dramatic music. I dig it. Oh. That's a good pile of loot. I'm okay with that. Aw, oh, my luck ran out. Literally. Ah, hi, guys. Hi, guys. I like how quickly that regenerates. It's like, what, 10 seconds? So helpful when I can remember it. Uh, so many ways to go. Now, if we could just get an exit, that would be fantastic. Hey, an exit. Onward to possibly die to the boss. All right. Back at it again. What's in you? I did not mean to use that. I like the attack, but again, I keep mistakenly using it because I feel like the right click should bring up the shield. 
money on the bright side. Whether I win or lose, I got a bunch of money now. Deep breath. I am low on health once again as I'm coming here, but it's fine. It's fine. Everything's going to be fine. All eight eyes studied the one so willing to walk into their own tomb. You can't tell me that is not a butt mouth. That thing roared at me. Hi. Ah. Darn you. And then you summon up the big old giant babbies. Ah, get off me. Oh man, this is a rough boss fight. Like roguelikes I get, but holy crap. I'm nearly dead now. I'm gonna be dropped on. And died to a baby. Wow, that's a rough fight. Yeah, we fell in the burrow. We made it to the boss again. But holy crap. I get roguelikes, but give me a break here, game. I even had some nice loot on me. Alright then. More cutscene. We keep dying. What do we do? Grandmama, tell us. Worried for the missing boy, Ben thought that maybe he should have hidden the daggers better. Mama is not happy. Oh, shaking her head in disappointment. Margaret, in her wisdom, knew that nothing would have remained hidden from Kevin forever. Now, she only encouraged her son and his daughter to hurry and find him. So I suppose now we get to enter the caves to try to find him? The plot exists now. <laughs> I was going to say the plot thickens, but uh, oh. whenever Margaret deciphers a tablet, Rhea reveals something new to the Bergsons. Given enough resources, she will then be able to strengthen the family. Oh. The mysteries of the world were like open books to the wise, and words from the wise shall benefit man and beast. Uh huh. So now we've unlocked her little alchemy table. Nifty. So what do we got here? We're not making any progress today, unfortunately, but we are getting nice new things, and I like new things. Hoarder. Ooh. I do like hoarding things. What do we got? Obelisk Remembrance? Increases the efficiency. What does that do exactly? Oh, it just makes them last longer. Okay. Increases the amount of experience gained. Ooh, I like that. Divine Relic Mastery. That's a second Divine Relic slot. Handy. See, gemstone proficiency increases the rate at which gemstones are dropped. Ooh, also good. So many nice things. Actually figuring out what I want is going to be the tricky part. Unlocks runes for various slots. Okay. Cool. But I suppose for now, this is all we can do. So yay! Getting things. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay, I mean, I guess it makes sense these would be more expensive. Wow, though. Workshop. Drags this way over here. We got anything else we can get? Um, we can get more warfare. I do like warfare. Mm, but I feel like getting armor up would be helpful. But at the same time, damage. Like, that's a pretty good argument right there. Damage. I'm gonna go with that. I'm broke now. But I can do damage. So yeah, I think I'm going to cut it here. I know we didn't make much progress, unfortunately. I was really hoping to beat that spider, but like... Holy nuts. That spider. That's a rough fight. But hey, we got this. Nothing could quite match the calm that Linda felt when playing her violin. Its sublime sound, the perfect counter to the nerve-wracking uncertainty and chaos. Controlled melody over noisy chaos. I dig it. But anywho, this has been Children of Morta. I hope you've enjoyed watching me die repeatedly. If you did, think of the like button to tap. And if you want to see more like this or more from me, think of the subscribe button and big thumbs up. I will see you all next time, and remember to stay groovy.